Well, hello. I look cozy, don't I? We are so tired. We've been driving for days and now we're in Eastern time and we just don't even know. I mean, it's 10 o'clock and <laughs> we're so tired. Is it 10 o'clock? It's 9 something. 9.30, give me well. 30 minutes, it ain't 10. Well, we're gonna get up and we're gonna get going because we're not driving today. We wanna get out and stretch our legs because we feel like we've done nothing but sit for days on end. And when we get up, we'll let you know where we are. Finally up. I'm telling you, it is hard to get up whenever you're going through time changes and driving about eight hours a day. But the location we have made it to is Somerville Lake in West Virginia. Kelly and I have never been to West Virginia, but this lake is gorgeous. I didn't know I was gonna scare that many ducks away. <laughs> that is some really clear water. This is the first time I've got to see the water up close because we got here real late last night. It was already dark, or the it was dusk. Now, y'all might remember one of our biggest goals right now is to make it to New England for fall. This has been on my bucket list since I was a child. Never thought I'd get to see it. We're trying to make it, but I am getting a little nervous we might not make it in time because standing here, I'm looking at a tree in West Virginia that's already starting to change at the top. And I'm hoping that's not a sign that things are changing even faster northeast of here but we can't keep driving we need a day of not driving because it's it's rough on the body isn't it honey oh yeah my back is hurting worse today than it has in the past since i heard it but it doesn't hurt that bad so yeah sitting down is just not gonna work it so yeah we need to walk we need to do something we were going to keep driving through but it was it was getting to us yesterday. Ooh, this is good, honey. Okay. She's been making smoothies lately, but she tried something new. She did a chai tea smoothie, and this is the base of it. I don't know what else went in it, but I love this stuff. Well, we have been only doing the banana strawberry smoothies, and I was like, well, let's branch out, try something different. So we tried a pumpkin smoothie with pumpkin, uh, you know, canned pumpkin. It was not good, <laughs> not good at all. Oh. And, <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, I'm trying to make something fallish. And I was like, all right, well, chai, we like chai tea. So it's chai, milk, banana, a little bit of cinnamon, almond butter, of course. It's, uh, speaking of almond butter, it's your, you, you look that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then protein powder, of course, Van vanilla protein powder. Mix it up with the immersion blender and voila. We've been looking at the map of the surrounding area. And I think we found something we're gonna go do. And didn't even know we were really close to it. We'll see you there. Well, we found a little trail to get out and stretch our legs. Feels good to be walking. And the trail that we're hiking is going to be taking us 1.6 miles with a beautiful overlook of the New River Gorge. If you're new to the channel or maybe you're just catching back up, we are purely on our way to the New England area to see the fall foliage. This is pretty much just a layover because it is a, a long drive from Colorado up there into that area, but we will be leaving probably tomorrow or the next day just so we can make it up there because some of the colors are starting to change on the leaves here. So we're a little concerned that we're not gonna make it, but we are using a map that is letting us know at what point the foliage has changed as to peak, past peak, mid, that kind of thing. We're just using this to stretch our legs and breathe some fresh air instead of driving the highway. Okay, y'all, we ended up right back at the RV park or campground that we were at prior, but we're at a different spot. We got a nice little shade tree. We were over there the last time. 
Um, but this is a really nice park. It's first come first serve. You can make reservation online, but they have a ton of open spots. So we were lucky enough to get another one. And it's pretty cheap. It's only $35 a night. But we just got back from the hike. We're both gonna get cleaned up and we're gonna cook dinner and I'm gonna cook outside tonight. All right, so tonight, since we're feeling really fallish, we're gonna make German stew. So first thing we have is some, I like the all beef sausage, smoked sausage. We're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna saute that until it's really nice and caramely. Now that our sausage is caramely, we're gonna throw in some onions. And we're gonna let that cook. Onions are looking good. Now let's throw in our cabbage. I have like basically a whole head of cabbage sliced up. And it looks like a lot, but you know, once it's cooked, it kinda cooks down. Time for seasoning. The main one we're gonna use is a caraway, and it probably should be um, ground down or not whole, that's for sure, but uh, this is what we have. So we're gonna do some caraway. I did some salt, and then of course pepper. Now that our cabbage is soft, we're gonna put some garlic in there. Stir that around for a couple, probably like 30 seconds. Now it's time for the beer. So we're gonna kinda let that reduce down a little bit and then we'll add the rest. Last couple things we're gonna add in are some potatoes. And then we've got our broth. And then we're gonna bring it to a boil. Okay. Looks like our stew is almost done. So we're gonna make bread. Just turn my skillet on, we're gonna let it heat up a little. If you have noticed, I have new handle thingies. Oh. <laughs> Pot holders. And these will get the same way. They get caught on fire right there and they just completely <laughs> singe. Looks like it's done. Last thing we toss in here, parsley. <laughs> that there is what you call magic in a bowl. Look at that. Actually, it doesn't look like much, but it's something special. Now, honestly, when you look at it, there's not a lot going on, but there's a lot going on. I'll take this. It has less sausage in it. Okay. Good old mouth cleaning. <laughs> <sighs> While Cody finishes that up, turn it on the heat because <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold. And I have on short sleeves because it's going to be hot later and I can have the heat on. All right, so we are leaving West Virginia today and we're going to be hopefully landing in New York by the end of the video. <laughs> by the end of the vlog, hopefully we'll be in New York. That's the plan. We got about eight hours and some change. We have no food. We have no water. Uh, we're going to drain and fill before we leave here. They don't have it at the site. It's going to be at the end where you pull out. And then we're going to head to Kroger and get something quick to eat for breakfast. My idea was avocado toast. I'm going to make my chai smoothie and some coffee. Let's get it. It's a lot colder outside than I was prepared for. I took my nice little green shirt off and now I'm freezing. I can't even feel my hands. Doesn't even look like it's cold outside. But Kelly has a park we're heading to. Do you need to get fuel? Yeah, I probably need to do that first. Well, now that we've gotten diesel, now we'll go find the park. I have a feeling it's gonna be a cute park. Kelly pulled it off once again. She found us a cute little park. What town are we in? Bridgeport, West Virginia. It's pretty. Oh, oh, 
Well, there's nothing better than coconut crisp cookies. Never had them before. Coffee, morning jazz, a chai drink, and then your substance was your avocado <laughs> toast. Heaven on earth. Greatest morning of my life. So it is just a chai protein shake to clarify. So we're not drinking chai tea and coffee at the same time, but it does have chai in it. Concentrate, but not very much. Oh, I'm ready to drive. Oh my gosh, but these cookies are so good. We're having like the best little time uh, here. I'm telling you. And if y'all can, Guillermo's Italian Stallion dipped with a crisp, uh, coconut crisp cookie. Mmm. When in doubt, pinky out, y'all. We're all done at this lovely park. We had breakfast. I got to stretch. We're feeling good, making good time. We're ready to rock and roll. We made it to New York. Here we are. I have no clue how we got where we're at right now. <laughs> So this is Bear Swamp State Forest. And in New York, any state forest, you can camp for three days. This is just a trailhead. We wanted something big enough that we could get in here, turn around. It gets really deep and dark when you keep going and it's kind of dark outside. So we didn't want to keep going, but it looks pretty much like this. And we just kind of backed in right here. But this uh, parking area is a snowshoeing or skiing area when it's winter and snowing. It is getting kind of late, so I'm just going to get in there, cook a quick dinner. We're going to get cleaned up, go to bed so we can get a good night's sleep. So we'll just see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Last night, I had one of the best sleeps of my life, which I really needed. Because yesterday's eight-hour drive, maybe eight-and-a-half-hour drive, really took it out of me and because of that long drive kelly and i both feel really stoved up down the road we found a little trail so we can get out and stretch our legs and i think that there's a waterfall on it so we're going to go check that out and we'll see when we get there we just passed through one of the cutest towns i've ever seen called skinny atlas new york and it has a beautiful lake called skinny atlas lake which is a part of the five fingers lake or the fingers lake but we came here because kelly found a hiking trail called the guppy trail with the waterfall on it or guppy falls yeah so it's just a short little trail we wanted to just get out and stretch our legs once again they do have two really cool hikes here one is 6.7 miles the other one's 8.5 miles but we don't really have time today because a we slept in we needed the rest we were exhausted and b it's supposed to start raining here in a little bit and it is probably only in the 50s here right now so we definitely don't want to be caught up in the rain doing that but it's going to be on our list for next time because we are falling in love with this area the little town we drove through was just so cute all the old houses are beautiful everyone has the immaculate perfect yard the grass is so green it, it's just beautiful here we wish we would have showed y'all all this on the vlog we weren't thinking about it we were just taking it in <laughs> yeah. but kelly tell them the reason number three we're actually in this area so we came back to this area because last year we came here before our hummer started acting up and we had to turn around and go back to arkansas there is a greek restaurant we want to go eat at again it was the best greek food we have had i think it was called kiki's and that's why we're here so we're gonna go eat dinner there later this evening we're gonna do this hike first get out breathe some fresh air and enjoy the trees it's just gorgeous here Here's the waterfall. It's kind of sad right now. I guess I haven't had a lot of rain. Yes, I'm not. Well, the waterfall was not ro roaring, but this was a really fun trail just to get out and walk. And the leaves smell so good. It's the first time we smelt fall leaves. 
dead leaves. They smell amazing. But we're going to head back down to that town because it was so cute. They had shops, restaurants. We're still going to eat at the Greek place. But we're going to go down there and just check that little town out. We were lucky enough to find a parking spot, but look at these homes. I am so shocked that whenever I walked over here to see this view, I did not expect the water to look like that. <laughs> Completely mind blown right now. I wish it was warm enough to get in. No equipment needed, no yeah. even shoes. Well, that was such a cute little town, but now it is time for dinner. Let's head on over to the Greek restaurant. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> the restaurant that we've thought about for over a year yeah. is closed today for due, something. It said due to staffing issues. So it's called Kiki's Greek and it is delicious right if there. you're over here. We're so close. That was, I told Cody, I said, we're just not meant to eat there, I guess, because we were going to eat there last night, but we got here too late because they closed at seven. Well, apparently they weren't open last night either, probably. No, it said on just on Saturdays. Oh, just on Saturdays. I can't find anybody to work on Saturdays. So we came to this area, drove all the way here, probably a couple hours out of the way to eat at a restaurant that's closed. When are we going to learn to just call and just be like, Hey, are you open? I mean, it's a restaurant. <laughs> well, and we did check on Google Maps and it didn't yeah. say temporarily closed. I checked today and it clearly stated that they're, they open at 11 and close at 7. All right, what do you want to do? Go back to the town, city, whatever we want. Yeah, I guess. I mean, honestly, there was a lot of stuff that smelled really good over yeah, there. Yeah, it did. We just weren't really hungry at the time. I guess we'll go back over there. We'll let y'all know. We figured out what we were gonna do. We returned back to the town we were visiting earlier, which was only a 15 minute drive from the Greek restaurant that we just left. And there's a Mexican restaurant that we were smelling when we were here and it smelled so good. And we were strongly thinking about just eating there. So maybe it was a sign to come back here and eat. Kelly's trying to figure out how to do this pay parking. 50 cents? It's free after six. Oh. So that restaurant's name was Elephant and the Dove. It was so good that we're putting my leftovers for breakfast tomorrow morning in the refrigerator. We did. That's true. That means I get to have cream of wheat because you don't like cream of wheat. <laughs> However, we're going to start heading to New England and finally hit our first state in New England ever. So we'll catch you on the other.